All right, just a quick review on the Serbian 3M. Um, so first thing, there's the mask. Uh, I still got the original packaging that the previous owner sent with it. Produced in well, produced in 2002 or 2020. That's really it. Um, so before I go into the mask, I'm just going to show off the accessories. So uh, right here we have a drinking canister, no, well, canteen adapter. It seems to use the same style as the US, but the threading on it appears to be uh, that of just a regular, well, soft drink bottle you can buy, and it fits on them. So that's a little interesting. Um, the filter. Made by Trail. Everything's made by Trail here because it's Serbia. There we go. The bag. The bag is terrible. It's made of a very thin material. Folds easy. It jiggles, jangles a lot. It's not great. It's pretty much the same as the. All that. Apparently, that got stuck on it. Uh, apparently, it's the same as the. M9 type carriers, the later ones. It's got the studs and it's the same sort of shape generally. It's not a lot in it, it's got like some pockets. I can't really see it because the lighting's shit. The lighting's shit because I'm, it's because I'm using the living room light. It's 5 a.m. at the moment. I'm an early riser. Uh, we've got the, the manual or the, the usage manual. It's where the soldier or owner is meant to input data regarding to when they've used it and all that kind of stuff. Alright, pause that and have a look at it just a second, I might just... If you want to have a look at it, I guess you can pause it. No, my camera's not the best. My phone's not the best. Uh, there we go. There's that. Uh, there's a little manual manual card and it's got English there we go if you want you can read that all out. I think it's on the Wikipedia if you really want to read it out this is the exact same mask from Archu who was on the Wikipedia so yeah the mask itself now top half is an M40 bottom half is a Canadian C4 Good mask, hybridize of the two countries that bombed Serbia in the Yugoslav Wars, towards the end of the Yugoslav Wars. Uh, it's pretty decent. Generally, I just consider it an improved M40, and it's really one of the only M40 copies. Um, put it on. So this is how the mask sounds when it's on. It's pretty good, it's got two diaphragms, one on the side, one on the front. They are unscrewable, not that I know how to unscrew them or want to. Um, it's got a, it's actually got an inverse of the Canadian C3 style. C3, is it C3? No, C4. Yeah, Canadian, sorry, Canadian C4 is the one I'm thinking. XL valve. So you can see around there, it comes out through there instead of coming out through the sides and up. Um, on the inside, uh, I'll just go over the harness quickly, it's got a mesh harness, the harness in shape and design is very similar to that of the Scott M95, not much to say there, it's got a drinking tube, it's fat and thick, I think it looks a bit funny, uh, alright, and the, uh, inside of the mask. Now, not sure how much you can see, but there's the drinking tube. It's kind of short. It's hard to grip with your mouth. Uh, diaphragm. It's all valves down there somewhere. It's not going to be able to show in this light. Oh well. Um, it's a size S, which does not mean small. It's the Serbian word for medium or normal. Uh, it's slightly larger than a medium M40, which is interesting. 
it's longer and thinner. So, obviously, for that South Slavic face. I mean, people of the Daenerys Alps are some of the tallest people in the world. They, they tend to have quite thin body frames, too. So, yeah. A large one of these is probably pretty bloody big, knowing that. Anyway, that's how the uh, harness attaches. It's a bit loose. It's not exactly like, you know, you'd expect something a little better, but it works. It's like a really loose C4 attachment point. And there we go. That's the uh, Serbian M3. I like it. But when don't I say that about these masks? All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.